Hey, what's up guys? So, question for you today. You're a human, right? Which means you want to live a long, healthy, happy life, right? Of course. I've got a tip for you today. You can do all that with just one little adjustment to your morning routine. This is all about your morning commute. So your first step is to get on your bike and ride. The second step is to lock up your bike, preferably at a bike rack, and get on transit. Once you get off the train, walk the rest of the way. Congratulations, you're going to live a long, healthy life. Yeah, okay, I'll admit, it's a bit of a simplification, but I'll get to that in a minute. First of all, I should say that a lot of this came from a conversation I had recently with Dr. Kay Teske who's a professor emeritus at the University of British Columbia. And she and her team have done some really interesting research into urban cycling, specifically around urban cycling and safety, and even more specifically around urban cycling, safety, and our perceptions of safety. Here's a little quiz for you. Which of these bike routes do you think is safest? Okay, got it? Well, this is what most people told researchers. They, th they thought the separated on-street bike lane was safest, followed by the shared pathway. Makes sense, right? Those seem safe and easy. So the question is, were people right? And the answer is, kinda, but not really. So yes, people thought the separated on-street bike lane, or a cycle track, was the safest, and the research bore that out. Yes, that's the safest but people really overestimated the safety of a shared pathway like this one. Here's why. We we tend to design those off-street paths in a very different way than we design roads. They tend not to have street lighting at night. They often make them curvy to be interesting, and then the sight lines are terrible. You, oh, bollards. <laughs> the, the poles, path, right? the <laughs> gates, the posts, um, street furniture, all of that stuff that just attracts people like you know you look at it to try and avoid it and the next thing you know <laughs> you've met it <laughs> and we don't put posts and bollards in the middle of roads it's our obligation to design them right also this one was a bit weird but the study found that bad bike infrastructure is actually more dangerous than having no infrastructure at all in some cases maybe that's not weird so what does this compute that is a mix of cycling have to do with a healthy life? Well, this is kind of an oversimplification of some other work that Dr. Teske's team did. This study looked at fatality rates per 100 million person trips. And these are US numbers, so remember um, these rates are different in different countries. And there's lots of different ways to slice and dice these numbers, but this is what Dr. Teske's team looked at. So the first one was drivers, so car drivers. Their rate came in at about 9.2, so registered about here, and the scale will make sense later. So I'll write that in there, 9.2. Pedestrians was slightly higher than that at about 13.7, and cyclists were a little bit higher than that at about uh, 21. So as you can see, these numbers are different, but not all that different. As Dr. Teske said, not an order of magnitude difference. And that will make sense when we look at some of these other numbers. So check this out, check out this bus number. This comes in at 0 0.4, it barely registers. That's by far the safest way of getting around when it comes to fatalities. So that is an order of magnitude difference. And then the really big shocker is, look at this, motorcycles. This comes way up off the charts almost. This is uh, why the scale is like that. 537. So you can see, when you look at these numbers, how really there's not much difference between driving, walking, and riding your bike. They're basically have uh, the same rates. But what's really safe is the transit, and what's really dangerous, sadly, is riding a motorcycle. So that's where this idea of the perfect commute comes in. You walk a bit because you get exercise. You ride a
ride a bike a bit because you get exercise like that guy. But you also take transit because that's by far the safest mode. See? Perfect commute. Well, I like riding a bike, so I think that's what I'll continue to do. Besides, it's as safe as walking down the street. Anyway, hope you liked the video. Please subscribe and like it down below, and I'll see you next time.